Hi, it's Richard Bromwell here at Charterhouse Auctioneers. Time for our walk and talk around our massive February two-day auction on Thursday the 14th and Friday the 15th of February. Now, as usual, we've got a big smattering of uh, pot pottery and porcelain. We've got a lovely collection of Colton ware. Um, it's uh, not my particular favorite, but it is still very, very popular little floral motifs big Chinese vases, we've got Coalport ladies, Dalton ladies, we've got Moorcroft swinging up through here, we've got pictures, we've got jewellery. Uh, these are particularly interesting, these wonderful uh, 17th century carvings here such rich so deep the carving here and they're certainly worth a few hundreds of pounds each those are sort of coming up through here we've got boxes we've got clocks we've got portraits she's quite a quite a beauty isn't she really um lovely with her sort of a, the, the the pearls in her hair she's she's continental possibly even dutch i would imagine she's sort of four to six hundred pounds and a very happy smiley face as well uh, through here we've got large candlesticks we've got ginger moulds, we've got a lot of silver and plate and jewellery, that's all coming up as well. A lovely big pair of candelabra, always very popular. A lot of people uh, do dine uh, with candlelight here, so when you're sitting down and your candles are up nice and high, you can actually, you don't have to look through the flame. So those are a good pair. Those, those, are, those are lot number two coming up. Down through here, We've got, a, this is wonderful as well, this is a, a big Italian carved marble roundel here, um, beautifully carved, and that's probably sort of a, that's come from a, from a client down in Devon, estimated between £800 and £1,000. But if that's a little bit too rich and you still like your marble, we've got a nice little pair of marble uh, obelisks here. Again, always a popular design obelisk, and those are in at sort of one to £200. A lot of marble action actually going on, and a lovely pair of French cassolettes here with, uh, with ormolu mounts on, again, probably around about a thousand pounds we've got clocks and lamps and bits and pieces and boxes and bronzes lots of silver and plate and and bits and pieces but coming on through here because this is thirsty work doing this today we've got in here we've got some drinks some booze fantastic uh thirst as a thirsty work being an auctioneer and in, in through here we've got some really good uh really good wine uh this is one of my particular favorites the the 1966 and that, that's a very good year george isn't it and why yes. is that a very good year, George? Uh, World Cup. Because I was born. That's it, George. <laughs> Nothing to do with the World Cup. A 66, according to my mother, was a fantastic year. Uh, the, the 66 uh, Chateau Le Tour there. It's probably sort of a 150, maybe 250, but we've got Margot, we've got Talbot, we've got, you know, some really good wine there. We've got whiskies, we've got champagnes, got a lot of port and bits and pieces and that's all coming up on the Friday. Up through here as usual all the furniture and this is a beauty isn't it? I mean it's the estimate on that between a hundred pounds and a hundred and fifty pounds. Um, now it, it costs nearly £100 to fill up my car with diesel, and that's what you can buy for £100 here. Um, so a big, big oak bookcase there. Uh, through here, this is particularly interesting, I think. Um, a Scandinavian bureau bookcase here. I love the painted finish on it here. It's nice and mellow. That's come out of a, a, a nice local Dorset farmhouse, and is, is certainly going to do a few hundred pounds. Up uh, through here, as usual, we've got a, a big oak. We lack a lot of country furniture. That's because we're in the countryside, so a good um, 18th century oak dresser there we've got chairs more bookcases and chairs and more bookcases and lots of more bookcases and coming up through here this is a nice little one a nice little dutch uh Lyre music stand here with sort of floral marquetry inlaid decoration, sort of two to three hundred pounds, always popular there, and a sort of Verney Martin style vitrine here. And these are interesting, these are, these are uh, the, the pitch of the horse here. We've got apricot and lassie. There we go, there they are. And those are, those are a little bit early, aren't they, George? Because those are actually coming up in, uh, in uh, George's sporting sale in April. So those are just, uh, those are just come in for valuation and are just about to be cattled to go upstairs to the store. Down through here, cocktail tables and bits and pieces and chairs and big figures and Dutch armoires and what have you. But as is a two day sale, we've got a, a large amount of silver and jewellery coming up on the first day. Now, this is, this is one of the star pieces in the sale. Um, it's over 80 diamonds here, a lovely diamond Riviere necklace. And if you've got sort of between sort of 30 and 35,000 pounds, then this could be yours. Now this is coming up, just to remind everyone, the silver, the jewelry and the watch is coming up on Valentine's Day. Um, that's the day that I always forget to get my wife a card. Um, I'm eternally grateful for budgets, the petrol stations, to get me out of trouble on the way home. But that's a wonderful diamond necklace. And if you do like diamonds, 
and uh, you, you think size matters, there is a diamond solitaire ring there. It's approximately six carats. Um, so that's kind of almost the size of, well, it is actually about the size of my fingernail there. So for that special lady, um, if you've got sort of 14 to 16,000 pounds and you want an absolute whopper of a diamond um, at over six carats, and that will certainly uh, fit the bill for you. Still on diamonds, we're going diamond mad this time. Uh, a very classic three stone diamond ring. This one here is estimated, I think, between six and a half and seven and a half thousand pounds. And still on the diamonds, I've got a little box in. Now, boxes are always lovely because a pretty little box like this, it's it's always going to have something divine inside and we open it up there and it's a wonderful pair of princess cut diamond uh, stud earrings here uh, although they're quite that they're not as big as the, uh, the, the I mean just to compare the sizes there they're estimated between four and six thousand pounds they're a lovely good cut good carrot good clarity there they are um, but maybe if uh, diamonds aren't your bag and you still want to buy yourself a, a valentine's present and you're going for the his and hers we have matching 18 karat gold ladies and gents rolexes the gents is estimated between sort of five and six thousand the ladies is estimated between two and three thousand pounds so if you like your watches and his and hers then that's a great opportunity and obviously at a fraction of the price that you'd have to go and buy in a retail environment so that's a bit of a, a walk and a talk through our auction coming up on the 14th and 15th of february i hope you enjoyed it and maybe we'll see you at the sale